The year is 2077. Snails have taken over the world, made peace with the democratic states of bacterial colonies on Pluto, and are for all intents and purposes the species on top of the food chain on planet Earth. Luckily, however, we don't live in that world, and that is in no small part due to the efforts of medieval knights, as they are the ones that fought snails tooth and nail throughout the 7th to 16th century, as depicted in many medieval paintings and manuscripts. So-called medieval marginalia are drawings that depict all kinds of things medieval artists and writers wanted the world to see, and one theme that is almost frighteningly common is that of knights fighting snails? And they are everywhere. Sometimes huge, sometimes tiny, sometimes they look real, sometimes they look as though they just came up with the perfect rebuttal to something somebody tweeted at them three weeks ago. Sometimes it looks like a rabbit riding a snail into battle, fighting a dog that's riding a rabbit armed with spears, shields and a snail that literally looks like the Greek philosopher Socrates. Times they fight alone and times as a roving gang of slimy foes. And it's not like the knights are looking at them like it's the tutorial quest of an RPG and they're just going to take a gentle step onto the little critters to defeat them, no no, they're actually scared to death. I mean, they could literally walk away from them at a leisurely pace, mine some salt somewhere in Italy, come back and sprinkle their best impression of a salty circle around the snails and still have enough time to recover from two variants of the black plague they caught along the way before their slimy foes even decided which way to go. So, what's up with that? I mean, I get it. Never underestimate your opponent. You wouldn't want to go to war against snails or, let's say, emus and then lose. That would be incredibly embarrassing, right, Straya? The depictions in medieval manuscripts are often what scientists and historians would call pretty weird. Picture this, it's the year 1200, you're a monk and you're sick of staring at boring plain text all day. So you take your pen and add some spice to your religious text by turning them into works of art with colorful ink and drawings of dogs playing a back-shaped cat who plays the flute. Of course. Some of the art, I'm not quite sure whether I should censor it. I'm sure YouTube doesn't specify that it's against the terms of service, however I feel like it should be. What would it even censor here? This just makes me feel weird and ah. And with some of the art, I feel like I don't have the mental toolbox to even grasp what I'm seeing. With other marginalia, I feel like there should be a standalone cinematic universe dedicated to them and their Avengers friends. The Adventures of Rabbit Man and how they overcame the IRS because they, for once, managed to file their taxes on time. And a spin-off series about Flumple, the anxious lion that doesn't like libertarians. What a great straight to Disney Plus show that would be. Also look, remember Yoda? Oh look at this one, what was the artist thinking? Alright, it's a weird hat, okay? It's, uh, it's a nun, it's 100% it's a nun. And then she has a long neck, oh, and it's actually an ostrich with a nun's head. But the legs are kinda sewn on? And then in the back there's a red shoe on the tail and then, oh, okay, it's a gloved hand doing the peace sign. Because of course that's what it is. And that's what you get if you let AI make art in the middle ages except this is art and this isn't and instead of advanced AI it's a drunk monk. However, one thing that is clear is that snails are overrepresented in medieval marginalia and that is weird. And luckily I'm not the first one to think that and I'm not the only one that reads medieval manuscripts in their free time. There's a whole field of study dedicated to the snails in medieval times. Medieval escargotology, the study of the middle ages and what the heck they had to do with snails. Tology. I defecate you flippin' not. The seminal work when it comes to snails fighting knights in medieval paintings is of course Lillian Randall's The Snail and Gothic Marginal Warfare. And at this point I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude that this source actually exists. So explanation one as to why medieval knights fought snails in medieval manuscripts. In a University of Chicago Journal article, Randall theorizes that snails, because they've got a big shell they carry and can hide away in, they symbolize highly armored chivalry units. They're the M4 Sherman tanks of medieval warfare and the reader and art appreciator is supposed to laugh at the idea that medieval knights are afraid of attacking such a heavily armored unit. Along the lines of, <laughs> silly knight, it's just a snail, not an actual tank. <laughs> Little do they know. Explanation 2. Considering that knights were more akin to royalty than peasantry, the snails may have represented the lowly peasants who were the real foes of royalty in the slow but steady march of democracy and equality. The snail represents the everyday man, the working class, just trying to make it in a world of unfairness and class struggle.
Hmm. Explanation 3. The snail represents evil, one of the seven capital sins in Catholic teachings. Sloth. Here in medieval mad scientist of art Hieronymus Bosch's painting, represented as a man so bored by the 15th nun this month trying to peddle dropship Jesus merch that he falls asleep reaching for his wallet. Who better to represent the idea of laziness than a snail? Slow moving nomads that never engage with local politics or pay any taxes. Explanation 4. During the Middle Ages, society was highly hierarchical and snails were seen as slow-moving and insignificant creatures. By depicting them fighting knights who were considered to be at the top of the social hierarchy, the artists may have been making statements about the power imbalance and ultimately the absurdity of the social order back in those days. Explanation 5. Europe in the Middle Ages was actually plagued by car-sized snails and they were slain and eventually went extinct solely through the efforts of brave knights. There are so many artists that drew this scene because it actually happened outside of the window. Ugh, oh, oh, another snail fight. Ah, oh, another ostrich nun. Knights are also responsible for the lack of dragons these days. Explanation 6. Snails may represent those who don't take religion seriously, as rather than thinking about their souls, their place in the world, and Jesus, they choose to curl up in their shells to avoid any sort of conflict. The knights represent the good in the world, the ones who fight against those who don't let Jesus in their hearts by stabbing them. Conclusion. So why were knights in medieval manuscripts depicted so often as fighting snails of all things? The answer is… we don't know! Welcome to the climax of this video. Clearly, medieval readers thought there was something funny or at least interesting about the scene of snails fighting knights, since they drew it so often. But none of them bothered to write down what that was. It's like the universal S. Because even if somebody did start the snail thing and infused it with meaning and symbolism, odds are that meaning was completely lost throughout the next hundreds of years. Think of it this way. If in the year 2823 somebody found the universal S drawing, they might ask themselves, what did the artist mean to symbolize with it? Does the S stand for the universal struggle of the working class? Does it represent the simplicity and infinite implementations of geometry in art? Is it S for snails? But unbeknownst to them, it was drawn by some middle school kid named Mark who was doodling some shape that he saw somewhere else instead of paying attention to algebra. That's the thing about history. We can infer what happened, when it happened and who was involved, but unless someone outright wrote down what exactly their motivation was for doing something, we have no way to confirm why they did it. And while we think of the Middle Ages as this grim period where nobody had fun and for a thousand years everyone was decreed to be collectively miserable by their respective feudal lords, I would like to imagine that it went something like this. A knight. <laughs> and he bravely fights... <coughs> a snail. <coughs> hey, George, come over here. I gotta show you something. Look. <laughs> The, the knight is, is fighting a snail. <laughs> Poggers. What do you think is the most likely explanation? Also, thumbs up if you love our slimy overlords. Thank you to you, my loyal patrons. Thank you to Este. And if you want your name to be next in the credits of my videos, do what these lovely people did and subscribe to my patron. Thank you all for watching. Have a lovely day.